Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to a game that's going to be running at the same time as I'm doing putting up Undertale. Uh, this is Hard Reset. Uh, Hard Reset was a game that I <clears throat> there we go was like my favorite modern era old school FPS um, before Doom came out in 2016. This game came out in 2012, if I remember properly. Um, just do normal. Uh, January 17, 2436. Sector 6, European District, Bazaar City. Have someone join me after the shift is over. I don't like to drink alone. Most of the days are like this. I'm a proud soldier of the corporation. Others like me are made by the PR department to be sentinels of the sanctuary, the defenders of Bazaar. Amusingly, I do it for the money. We defend the sanctuary, a network that holds billions of digitalized personalities of human beings. The machines are our enemy. The corporation's eggheads proposed a theory implying the existence of an unsurpassable evolutionary limit of the current AI. The sanctuary is the possibility of the machines to break this limit. Since there's an uh, opening graphic style. Mind you, this is made by an indie studio, so... I forgot it had these like comics book style Sector openings. Six, multiple casualties. Send back up. He's reading. For fuck's sake, are you blind? At least seven dead. No visual contact with the enemy. Roger CLN 16. Incident location Sector 6. European District. All units. Code red. Regroup on CLN 16. CLN 16. Conduct an area recon. Just don't go postal, Fletcher. Just don't go postal. Yeah, this game visually looks gorgeous. Get to the breach. Investigate and gather evidence on arrival. One of the things I can say about this that I remember about this game is that it had some of the best like lighting effects in a game I had ever seen at the time. Like fuck, look at the lighting effects on this gun. Like that looks awesome. Like Jesus Christ, what is that? This, this game has a lot of like old school school things, like there's like secrets and stuff like that, and destructible walls. Ah, there it is. Because you have two different guns. Okay, so the only thing I'm gonna have to get used to is the weapon swap. So the weapon swap is Q and E. I was like, okay, energy is not working on this guy, so I tried to swap back to the ballistic. Enemies have like strength and weaknesses against the ammo types, which is fine. It was just one of those, uh. Gather and nano currents to spend on weapons, upgrades, and combat gear. Yep. Little wall. Thanks. 
hence in the game options menu. Hold on. Do that right now, because those are going to get annoying. Ooh, your little dude, eh? Right, guns don't like have to reload in this game most of the time. I know the specialty guns do. Check and make some crannies for upgrade points and stuff. This game is like visually very pretty, especially for like an indie studio. I love the like noir-esque setting of this game. It looks very pretty. I sound big and spoopy. I haven't played this game in like four years, so I don't remember most of the shit that happens in this game. two and three on instinctively to try and swap between weapons. That's where I came up initially. That's cool. I just find it, I honestly like it when games have those like little interactive panels like that. It personally, I think it helps with the immersion more. Thank you, explosive vehicle. What would I have done without you? This world's go to on explosives. Though. Is that? <laughs> I mean, you guys play fast and loose with your uh, explosives in this world. You know, I guess just in case. You have one message waiting for you. You have one message waiting for you. You can't leave me like this.
robot scum. I was, re I was skimming some reviews. Anyways, uh, I guess I was explaining the reason why I decided to play this. They recently, two, three months ago, opted to... Um... They re-released this game and labeled it Hard Reset Redux, if I remember properly. Um, Do not damage public property. It may be yeah, yeah, there's some great points back here. Secret fan. Oh, this is not like a. Oh no, there's a secret menu. Three out of four. Nano collected 79%. Environment kills 27%. Enemies kill 26. Yeah. I've never aimed to like go through this game and 100% it yet before. Three out of four secrets is pretty good so far. So I'm good. It's combat gear. Let's see what's all in there. That's a cool menu. I remember I liked these. Directional sensor, directional damage, hot indicator, a new position indicator, nano position. Critical health lowest tricks enhanced perception mode. Upgrade, increase max weapon capacity. Max weapon capacity? I'm gonna say I need to install a certain amount of upgrades to get there. Guess try. There's this RF one on. Let's go up, see what target module. Increased rate of fire. Shotgun. Barrel. Grenade launcher. I'm gonna go for uh, stuff this off. Here's my plasma rifle. Shock blaster. Electric mortar. Smart gun. There's a real gun. Maybe not. Let's not maybe do a all mags on the basket type of thing. Uh, let's do a shot. Let's get the shotgun. Good choice. The guard was successfully mounted. Oh, that's a cool transfer thing, I like reconfigures. That looks, that's really smooth configuration. <clears throat> what engine this runs on? I could see this being like a source engine thing. Everyone's dead. I also realized I did not. That's some good destructive power.
I don't know if there's a weak spot on this back. I just assumed that there was. Seriously, I have no idea how long I've been running this episode. This could be like 30 minutes. So I know, like, they're, they're big. I know they're a big fan of just like tucking environmental hazards everywhere. Definitely have to make sure to use those more. Um, I guess I'm supposed to go that way, but I'm a rebel, so I'm gonna check every other corner first. So it looks like the stuff isn't. It seems to act more like a. So it looks like it's kind of like a level up system because on the left side of my uh, bar, every time I pick stuff up, it adds to the bar. So it actually has experience for me. Okay, we're gonna try and look at these energy weapons. Uh, just charge. Area of effect. Electric grenade. I think that'd be good. I want to try that. I know the first time I played, I did not use a lot of energy guns. That looks really cool. That's a really nice visual effect. Okay. I think we'll call it good for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching the things. I'm sorry if this is really long. I totally forgot to start a timer. But I'll see, I'll see you guys uh, in the next episode.